Well, if you're one of the millions of Americans who aren't getting enough sleep, a newly released study found that people who get less than six hours of sleep a night have an increased risk of arteriosclerosis, which can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and vascular disease. Our Paulo Salazar sat down with a local cardiologist who shed some light on those troubling statistics. This study adds to what we've already known uh, as cardiologists for several years that it's not only medications that can modify your risk for coronary artery disease or developing atherosclerosis of other arteries of your body. Dr. Travis Taylor is commenting on a recent study by the American College of Cardiology, which states traditional risk factors for cardiovascular disease were also considered, but the study found that participants who slept less than six hours were 27 percent more likely to have atherosclerosis throughout the body compared to those who slept seven to eight hours. Atherosclerosis is the process of fatty buildup in the inner lining of an artery and causes arteries to narrow, weaken, and be less flexible. The buildup is called plaque and reduces the amount of blood and oxygen delivered to vital organs. Sometimes the plaque can be so bad, it'll close off blood supply to the heart, causing a heart attack or even a stroke. It also matters how the quality of your, your sleep. So people that move around a lot at night and have a, a restless night are more likely to develop atherosclerosis than those that sleep soundly throughout the night. But how do you know if you're at risk? There are many people at risk, uh, particularly those with diabetes, high blood pressure, men that are over the age of 55, women over the age of 65, those that are overweight, and now we know those that do not sleep well at night are at significant risk. There are ways to ensure you don't fall victim and tips to fighting back. Eating a low fat, particularly low saturated fat diet and um, having a low sugar diet also will prevent the development of atherosclerosis. Starting an exercise program as long as it's okay with your doctor, including cardio and weight training can help prevent atherosclerosis and also now good, getting good quality sleep is very important to prevent this disease. Dr. Taylor says the elderly is most at risk. He adds sticking to a bedtime routine and using your bed only for sleep rather than watching TV or reading a book can help in improving your sleep health. Paulo Salazar reporting for Chris 6 News.